Wintertime sucks, but March is here, and that means that springtime is just around the corner, and a new month means new video games, and video games are a great way to pass the time until the weather stops being so crappy. Here are all the big games that are coming out in March 2021. First up, I know this is a show about video game releases, but you might be interested in Playing With Power, the Nintendo story, an all-new documentary about the history of, well, Nintendo, obviously. That's hitting Crackle on March 1st. On to the games themselves. On March 2nd, Harvest Moon gets a new installment on Switch with One World, which takes the long-running farm PG to a variety of new locales and climates, allowing you to do all sorts of things that most farmers only dream of, like riding reindeer or dating hunky surfer dudes. March 2nd is a Tuesday, 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 and that means that Monster Jam Steel Titans 2 crushes its way on the PS4, PC, Xbox One, Switch, and Stadia with all of your favorite trucks, including Gravedigger, Max D, El Toro Loco, and that one that looks like a dog. Also out that day is the PlayStation 5 version of Yakuza Like a Dragon, which brings Ichiban Kasuga and friends to Sony's next-gen console with improved graphics so you can see how badly that hairdresser screwed up his punch perm. And if you're in the mood for a beautiful first-person puzzle game, Macat comes to PS4, PS5, and PC. On March 3rd, the top-down steampunk survival base builder Scrapnaut comes out of early access on PC, and on March 4th, Ranch Simulator comes to PC, allowing you to simulate the thrill of dipping dozens of different appetizers into that creamy home-style dressing. What? It's about farming? Oh, never mind then. Also out on March 4th is Loop Hero on PC, which is basically a reverse roguelike where you play as the dungeon master for an NPC hero stuck in a gameplay loop. Comical Medical Malpractice Simulation Two Point Hospital Jumbo Edition comes to PS4, Xbox One, and Switch on March 5th, and then on the 9th, Apex Legends comes wall running and zip lining and otherwise dropping onto Switch. On March 10th, the former Stadia-exclusive Krata brings its robust collaborative game creation suite to PC for anyone who really wants to make their own game on PC, but maybe needs something a little less intimidating than Unreal or Unity, or, you know, one of those things they actually make games in. And on March 11th, Monster Energy Supercross 4 hits PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, PC, and Stadia, and it really just makes me wish we had more official video games about energy drink-sponsored action sports like Red Bull Flugtag League, or Rockstar Zero Fanboat Paintball, or Bang Energy Co-Ed Endangered Animal Racing. Speaking of endangered animal racing, on the 12th, traitorous former PlayStation mascot Crash Bandicoot drags his sorry shirtless carcass onto Nintendo Switch in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. It's about time you put on a shirt, bud. On the 16th, Switch gets Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, the remaster of a fantasy RPG so epic it literally nearly bankrupted the state of Rhode Island. If you prefer your RPGs of the massive and multiplayer variety, The Elder Scrolls Online's Flames of Ambition hits PS4 and Xbox One that day, and the creepy monochromatic horror game Mundown comes onto PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, PC, and Switch. And also on the 16th is the Xbox Series X S version of Samurai Showdown, which outfits the fast-paced fighter with a lightning-fast next-gen framerate. On March 18th, Marvel's Avengers gets Series X and PS5 upgrades along with its Operation Future Imperfect update, which adds a bunch of new content and introduces Hawkeye as a playable character. Which is great if you've always wanted a Crystal Dynamics game about shooting people with a bow and arrow and somehow missed the last eight years of Tomb Raider games. If you're after a cute farming game, but you're opposed to Harvest Moon One World's globalist agenda and surfer hunks, good news because on March 23rd, Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town lets you plant crops and milk cows and romance surfer hunks just like Emilio. Hey, hold on! Can I just play a game about farming without falling in love with a free-spirited dreamboat beach bum? These games used to be about agriculture. What happened? <clears throat> anyway. On the 25th, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life comes to Xbox One and PC, and I'm pretty sure it's the only game out this month that involves karaoke, deep sea spearfishing, bodybuilding, and caring for a newborn infant. But hey, you never know, maybe things go rootin' tootin' buck wild in the end game of Ranch Simulator. Yeehaw! Then on the 25th, one of the most anticipated games of the month, Monster Hunter Rise, comes to Switch, and in addition to the eponymous and obvious hunting of monsters, it also introduced Palamutes, which are Malamute dogs who are your pals, just like the Palicos, who are Calico Cats who are your pals. That's adorable. Also on that day is Balan Wonderworld, a musical 3D platformer from some of the folks who worked on Nights into Dreams way back in the day. That's on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, PC, and Switch. Also coming to all the platforms I just listed except Switch, there's It Takes Two, the latest co-op only adventure from A Way Out designer and video games awards potty mouth Yosef Fares. It's worth noting that this comes with a code that lets a friend play with you online even if they don't own the full game themselves, which is nice since having a friend over to play couch co-op is a little trickier during the pandemic. Not satisfied only being on Nintendo Switch this month, Crash Bandicoot drags his shirtless carcass onto yet another device on the 25th, this time with the mobile game Crash Bandicoot On The Run. 
Yeah, why don't you run to some store that sells something besides jean shorts, you orange delinquent? On the 26th, next-gen versions of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 hit PS5 and Series X. If you bought the digital deluxe version last gen, you'll get a free upgrade. But if you have the base version digitally, the next-gen version will cost you 10 bucks. And if you bought the last-gen base version physically, well, I don't know, go outside and ollie over it because you can't do that with the digital copy. That's also coming to Switch sometime later this year. Also on the 26th for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X is Space Base Startopia, which combines economic simulation, empire building strategy, and classic RTS skirmishes. That's also coming to Switch sometime later this year. On March 30th, get in touch with your inner supervillain in Evil Genius 2 World Domination on PC, and if you can't find any sharks to outfit with laser beams, it's okay to substitute them with sea bass, just make sure they're ill-tempered sea bass. If that sounds too goofy, that same day, Kingdom Hearts franchise brings Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 HD, Kingdom Hearts 3, and Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories to PC. That is exclusively on the Epic Games Store for now, which is kind of a Sora subject, and has some people steamed. On March 31st, we're supposedly getting self-explanatory FPS Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, as well as the colorful indie adventure Hazel Sky on the platforms I just listed, plus Nintendo Switch, but neither is confirmed as of writing this, and it's possible that March 31st was just a placeholder date aiming for a first quarter release window. And finally, also expected at some point in March is Disco Elysium, the final cut, the update to the critically acclaimed groundbreakingly weird RPG, which brings it to PS4, PS5, and Stadia, as well as adding full voice acting, which is also coming to PC. So there you have it. Those are all the big games coming out in March. What did we forget? What did we screw up this time? Last month, my eyeline was all off and it looked like I was talking to someone up here. The month before that, my audio was out of sync and it totally didn't line up with my mouth movements. But you know, you can point out what we screwed up this month or you can just say something nice. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing next month because my wife is going to labor in like 20 minutes. So I'm probably gonna be on paternity leave. But in the meantime, let us know in the comments what you're playing in March uh, or you can just mutter softly to yourself. But that'd be pretty weird if you were, you know, sitting there and somebody walked in and you were just like, Ranch Simulator. Anyway, I'll see you around. Have a good one.